purpose of this video is to show you how to use the interactive whiteboard uh, created by Equatio called MathSpace. So there's a couple of different ways that you can access it. You can access it through the staff portal down here on the bottom, or the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to type equatio.texthelp.com. Once you go there once, it'll automatically show up. Clearly, I've used it before. So I'm going to hit enter to go here, it brings you to your own unique dashboard. If it's the first time you're going, it's going to ask you to log in with Google, which is pretty important since that's what's going to keep track of all the different assignments and tasks that you're going to do. You can see I've created a bunch of different spaces as I've been playing with this tool, learning how it uh, will work best for our students, particularly now that we're trying to navigate an online world and helping our students understand the important concepts in our courses. So I'm going to start by looking at this math space that I've already created. So I have this here. So this is a question that I would probably ask students to do, almost like an exit card or something after a particular lesson that I give to see what they're struggling with, something like that. So I'm going to go to the top right corner where it says share. I'm going to select share and it gives you this option. So I'm going to go to make a copy for each person and expect a response. So it's very important that you select this one. We are premium users in our board, so we do have access to this wonderful feature. So I'm going to select, I'm going to hit continue. And when it does that, it generates a link. So I'm going to copy this link to the clipboard. I'm going to hit done. And then I can actually close this. So then now I actually need to send it to the students. So to send it to the students, I'm going to actually do it through Hapara Workspace. You can email it to them, uh, which is actually what I'm going to do to show you how it works from the student side, since I can use my son um, to help me show you how this works. However, with my own students, I would share it through Hapara. So I've created a lesson goal for us. I submitted a little video to show students how the triangle sum, triangle angle sum theorem works. Here would be some extra practice that I would provide for them. So kind of like homework, just to make sure that they understand. Both the questions and solutions are there so they can kind of check their own work. After all of this, I would then ask students to complete this formative assessment question. So I would hit the link, paste in my link, hit the check mark to show that I am ready to insert it, and I want a copy per student. So the copy per student is pretty important because then when students click on the link, it will create a copy for each of them so that they can do the work on their own. Now, I'm not going to worry about this scheduling a start date or date or anything at this point. But I just wanted to show you how you could share it within a workspace. So I'm going to hit done. Now, I want to show you what a student will see. I'm going to minimize this here. And I'm going to go to my son's. Page. I'm actually going to close this right now and I'm going to go to his email and wow he has lots of YouTube lessons here so I'm going to select one of these workspaces that I've sent to him as practice actually that's not the one that I want there should be a new one there we go called student view I'm going to select that equatio so when they click on the link, whether it's through their email or through Hapara, it's going to take them to the same place that you were in. Now, students can actually type their answers uh, using digital math, or they can use Equatio Mobile. Um, if you're wondering how to use these different things, there's another video that will share with you, showing you how to use the features of Equatio. However, I think the easiest way is to use the freehand drawing tool. So right now, when I look at this, hopefully they've watched the video and they recognize that when we add the angles in the triangle together, we get 180 degrees. We combine our like terms, and then we divide both sides by five, and we're left with 360 degrees. So hopefully, we see something like this from our students. They did the work. Now they have to send it back to you. So to send it back, you'll notice this icon has changed. So it's an arrow now, as opposed to the three dots. So when they hit submit. It sends it to the teacher. Now you'll notice I got this notification down here. And the reason why I got that is because I'm logged into Chrome right now. So I know that I've received some work from a particular student or many students, as the case may be. 
we're not always going to be on our computers when the responses come in. So what if we don't get the notification? How do we find that? So I'm going to hit OK here. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go back to my math space. So again, to get to the math space, equatio.texthelp.com. The assignments right here, that's where you're going to find the work. And you'll know you've got new work because this blue number is going to show up right here. So I see that. So I got one response. So I'm going to select this. And I see I have work from one student. If you sent it to multiple students, you would see a file for each one. So I'm going to select it. And now I can see his work. And you'll notice now we have a feedback view. So I want to leave feedback for the student. So I there's nothing wrong in this particular question. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the color of my pen. Close that. And then I'm going to say, oh, my pen didn't change. I will play with that later. Great work. And then I would say, next. Determine each angle. I'm ready. I gave the feedback that I have there. So I'm going to go send back to student. I'm going to send it back, sending your feedback. No notification came up this time because, as I said, I'm the one that signed in to the Google account that would get the notification. So I'm going to close this. I do want to go back here for a second. This submitted assignments. Right now, I don't have any submitted assignments right here because I haven't done any work and sent it to anybody else. I'm the one that's been sending the assignment. So this is where your students are going to end up actually going. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to Lucas's account. And again, I want to open up that Equatio math space. So equatio.texthelp.com, or they can access it from the student portal. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to go to submitted assignments. And then this is the most recent. So when he selects this here, he says, oh, Miss said great work. Next, determine each angle. So he's able to see that. Right now, all of these icons are grayed out on the bottom, so he can't access them. For him to continue on and make any changes, he just needs to toggle off this feedback view option. And then we have all these particular things. So then his next step would probably be identifying what each of those angles are. I'm not going to do that right now because this is more about showing you how to use the tool instead of the math. So he sees that, he does the work, and then he can send it back to you again. I'm going to go to his dashboard. So when I look at the dashboard here, you'll notice down here, submit it, update it. That feedback loop that we would happen, this is where you would see all the different progression of the changes that are happening. So that's how you can use Equatio Math Space to help you gather information. In Hapara, once students click on that, you'll notice who has started because this number is going to be able to change right here. Hopefully that makes sense uh, and you're willing to use or you see the value in using Equatio Math Space to provide some questions to students and ultimately the more important part is giving them that feedback that they need.